Hello, welcome back to Cinema Burger, where I bring you movie reviews from a different perspective. Today we're here to talk about the film adaptation of the Broadway musical Dear Evan Hansen. Now, I didn't really know a lot about the plot of Dear Evan Hansen. Someone told me about it, kind of. But when I found out, or when I saw the movie, I'm like, oh. Now, there's plenty of people who love the Broadway show. I've never seen it. I've only seen the movie. So, I'm going to judge this as a movie. In terms of, like, the singing, and how the the pacing of the movie is, and but the plot. I'm not going to make comparisons to the Broadway show because I haven't seen it. But we're just going to judge this solely as a movie. The so Dear Evan Hansen stars Ben Platt, Julianne Moore, Amy Adams, Caitlin Dever, and... Benjamin Platt plays Evan Hansen. He's like an anxious, lonely kid in high school. And he's supposed to write letters to himself as a therapist exercise. Now, he's writing this in school, in the library, and he uh, accidentally prints it out. And this kid named Connor takes it, who he originally had like seen in the hallway. Because... Evan is kind of in love with Connor's sister, played by Caitlin Dever. He's like, Connor's like angry a lot. Now, Connor takes the letter from the printer and reads it because it mentions his sister. And uh, Evan is like, hopes he doesn't show it to anybody. And then it turns out the next day that Connor committed suicide. And the only thing on him was that letter and his parents think that was a suicide note to Evan like they were friends or something now they weren't but and the parents like think it is now Evan's trying to explain that they're not but he doesn't get a chance and that they think uh, they were friends so they want to know more about him so basically Evan lies that he was friends with this kid, Connor, who committed suicide. Kind of for personal gain, like, because he has, like, friends now and, like, a family, because... Now, his mom's a single mother who works at a hospital, so she's not home a lot. But, it's like, she's working all the time, like, because she's trying to make money. Now, throughout the movie... Evan gets, like, closer with the sister, and he gets other friends, and in these movies where the lonely, unpopular kid becomes popular and gets friends because of a lie, there's always that moment when the lie is going to be revealed, and I was just waiting for that the whole time, because in this kind of, like, plot that gets uncomfortable... Because he keeps lying and lying until because like, he gets like close with everybody and then it's revealed that a lot of who he is and things are not true in that type of movie. Now this is, now everything is it's surrounded by a suicide, which makes it even worse. Because like at one point, Connor's parents are like gonna pay for his college because they're rich and. The mom, like, so, like, no, we can do it, but, like, Evans basically, like, blames his mom for, like, being kind of poor and not around. Like, she's working at a hospital to, like, make money for you and her. Like, what kind of an asshole is that? And one of my biggest problems with this plot is that, like, everyone benefits from this lie. Like... Evan gets, like, a, a more close family and, like, other friends. He gets close with Connor's sister. Now, now, like, the problem with this movie also, as a movie, is the, the singing is terrible. Like, Julianne Moore, Caitlin Dever can't sing. And ben, Benjamin Platt can sing normally, but in this it sounds terrible. I don't know what happened. And also, the pacing of this movie is god-awful, because, like, the movie is 2 hours and 17 minutes, but it feels it. Like, 
It's never good when a movie feels like it's runtime. But just as a movie, it had terrible pacing. Now, more and more lies come up, because at first... Now, Evan kind of has one friend. It's like a family friend, but still, like... So, he asked a friend to help write another letter or two to make it look like they've been talking for a while, like Evan and Connor. Now, when they do this, they're writing out the letter, and it cuts to Connor, like, talking, like, saying what's on the letter, even if, like, like the grammar isn't good or whatever. And, like, that was kind of funny, and I liked that. I wish they did more of that, because Connor is really not in the movie anymore. I mean, he's not alive, but... It's whole type of thing, also. It's, like, people are like, oh, like, they're trying to, like, help out, like, give their condolences. But, like, no one cared about Connor when he was alive, really. And, like, that's the point, I guess, the movie was, I don't know if that was trying to make that point, but there's this one other girl who's, like, an environmentalist, and she wants to start a program for Connor, like, a foundation, and she's trying to connect with, like, Evan. And it's like, oh, yeah, like, I'm on, Lex I'm on, like, 10 milligrams of Lexapro, like, what do you want? It's like, I'm on 10 milligrams of Lexapro. It's like, comparing it to... Evan, who's on, like, some other stuff. Now, also, I, oh, I forgot, um, Connor, I mean, Evan has a cast in the beginning because he fell out of a tree, and they lie, and st he says, like, oh, it's like we were at an orchard, him and Connor, because they, uh, Connor liked an orchard, because Connor was a drug addict, and he was in rehab a few times, and he did not do well. But like I said, like, throughout this movie, like, everyone is benefiting from this lie. Like, they show Evan, like, throwing up from anxiety because he keeps lying, but not enough that he feels bad about it, because he is benefiting from this. Like, he's getting close with Connor's sister. And also, like, Connor and the sister were not very close since, since they were little kids, but as older, like... The sister was very, like, resentful, and, um, Evan was talking about, or, like, the lies from the letter, it's like, oh, um, like, I, uh, I thought your guitar playing was good and all that, it's like, all these things that Evan liked about the sister personally, but lied and said it was Connor saying that, but a lot of those situations Connor wasn't around, because he was... He would disappear sometimes and stuff, so it's like, people don't get wise to the lying until too close to the end of the movie. But at the same time, like, Evan, like, yeah, yells at his mom for being poor and, like, not being around because Evan's dad left when he was young. But, I don't know, like, like, like I said before, like, when, a, when these movies, when, like, an unpopular kid becomes popular based on a lie, but the fact is a lie involves a suicide, like, this movie, is this supposed to be, like, showing suicide awareness and prevention? Because it fails at that, I think, too. I don't know if... Now, at the end, like, it is finally revealed what Evan did, and... Yeah, the family's upset, and everyone originally blames the family, but Evan, like, posts that, like, he did it so the family doesn't get bothered anymore, but it's like, they're way too forgiving, like, this kid lied about your dead son, they were friends, and kept pretending, and, like, they invited you into your house, and... And, the, yeah, the family forgave way too quickly, especially the, the sister. But at the end, like, he actually, like, got to know what Connor's, like, favorite books and things are. He, like, found people he was in rehab with and found video of Connor playing the guitar because he was played guitar too. So he does kind of try to redeem himself, which apparently in the Broadway show he doesn't do, but... And also, like, this may sound terrible, but it's, like, it was revealed that he didn't actually fall out of a tree. He jumped because he was, like, suicidal, too. It's like, oh, how convenient you're also suicidal. Like, I don't know. But, 
I don't. I wouldn't recommend this movie because, as a movie, like I said, the pacing is terrible. The singing I thought was terrible. The uh, the premise is really shitty. I think. And if you've seen the Broadway show, you'll hate it even more than if you didn't, I think. Because I went to see the movie with people who have seen the Broadway show, and most of them hated it. But this movie just, like, pissed me off. And, um... Oh, yeah, I forgot. The, uh... The girl who started the foundation that was... Said she was on Lexapro to get closer with Evan. Like, she had a few days left to reach their donation goal. And because Evan was going to get caught in a lie, he actually showed, like, the letter he wrote, but the girl thinks it was a suicide note. So she posts the suicide note to the donation website to, like, get people to, like, donate more. But I'm like, yeah, you're trying to, I guess, do it for a good cause, but at the same time, you're still doing it for personal gain. You posted what you think is someone's suicide note to the internet. Like, how fucked up is that? But yeah, um, like I said, he does, Evan does try to, like, reconcile at the end, but, alright, it was nice that he did that, but it's like, still, it's like, you're still a horrible person, I think, I, mm. so yeah, that's, that's the end of my, of my rant, I'll have to, I give Dear Evan Hansen a .5 out of 5 burgers, like, there's very little, in my opinion, to like from this movie whether you've seen the Broadway show or not. Alright, I'm Scott Berger, and I'll see you next time.